Alrighty then, my royal chums, it is I, Daniel, you'll be calling me the Pop Culture Dude, and today, I wasn't really thinking about making this video, but since on Twitter, where I actually got requested by fans, and yes, I got a new profile, special thanks to Wyatt Davis, who makes the new profile for my Twitter account, please follow me in the description down below, but anyway, I've been requested to make this Sonic movie sequel on set photo, because, you know, I've been covering every single location on set photos that has been serviced that's related to the production of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, but, for this particular on set photo, you're not going to see any actors like James Marsden or Tika Sumter or Jim Carrey or even Jeff Fowler on set. It's more location on set photos, but this one, even though it's too basic, but the idea of it sounds interesting, which, no joke, I'm not kidding, but this on set photo has an ice cream truck in the background. And if you're probably wondering, it's like, what does an ice cream truck have to do with the Sonic movie sequel? Well, not really sure why, but this scene is going to involve an action sequence. It's going to be a car chase scene and even a gunfire sequence. And I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what could this mean? Hold up, wait a minute. Does that mean we're gonna go R-rated with this? Is Tails gonna grab a gun and decide to protect Sonic and just go x go give it to you? Just because, you know, Tim Miller is the executive producer of this movie and he is the director of the first Deadpool movie, so I don't know, I just thought that would be funny. But anyway, let's keep on speculating on this onset photo. So, as I take a look at this photo where, yeah, it looks pretty normal for a casual ice cream truck that there probably might be some kids that want some ice cream or, I don't know, Sonic wants ice cream himself. But if there's going to be a car chase scene with gunfire scenes, we definitely know that this is going to be a big epic action sequence in the sequel. And it reminds me back in the first Sonic movie where Sonic and Tom were literally hunted by Dr. Robotnik, literally on a highway chase scene by his giant motorized vehicles to track them down and eventually to start threatening Sonic and Tom. And that was a pretty awesome sequence. But also, let's not forget from the last video I covered that in the sequel, according to IMDb's filming locations, they said there's going to be some highway scene so if there are going to be car chase scenes from this onset photo then this definitely has like a tie-in connection to it but if you're going to ask me like what is the scene going to be feature about well if i look back to him like okay we see robotnik chasing sonic down in the final act of the first movie after when he saved tom and maddie's life from the transamerica building in san francisco which the scene that i'm showing you right now that's what it's definitely remind me of but since tails is going to be in the sequel i'm expecting tom and possibly maddie too to join along with the adventure i'm having a good prediction and good theories that Robotnik returns by I'll be home by Christmas and from the Mushroom Planet and actually gets to have his revenge and decides to use his unlimited power of Sonic's quill that he left on the Mushroom Planet and eventually use that to create more Batniks, more machines to track down Sonic and his friends into way more, more danger with a gunfire car chase action sequence. And that's the best prediction that I could come up with. But, I'm not the only one who decided to come up with my own theories. i seen some other fans that decide to respond their own personalized predictions on Twitter. Let's take a look at them, shall we? And you will get shout out if you're watching this video. First, I'm just going to analyze over Kitsui's tweet. Does anybody notice that the car chase scene is being filmed at the same street where the scene of Sonic drives Rachel's car for a while was filmed? The place looks similar, and to be honest, it kind of does. Like, look, the streets looks exactly the same, and I remember I made a comment in the replies down below where I replied, no way are they filming in san francisco again maybe this is a vancouver they probably may be using vancouver as a stand-in for san francisco again it could be because i remember in the commentary in the blu-ray extras jeff fowler did say that those stand-in scenes for san francisco was actually shot in vancouver in the first film so if they're doing it again with the same location it could be the case i mean that's what i could assume for my prediction if they're using the exact same location from the exact same scene that we remember from the first film but other than that let's check some other fan theories this username at daniela 6 a a 22313 responds hmm this photos from the set is strange but it is also interesting i can't imagine a scene of Dr. Robotnik chasing Tails and Sonic and Tom this background image that is too strange to think about, but I still like it. Ha 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 ha! It is interesting, but yeah, that's exactly the exact same thing I was I was thinking, because what if Robotnik is eventually still trying to track down Sonic, Tails, and Tom for some revenge, but I also got another hilarious theory from one of my good friends, Wyatt Davis, says, what if it's Agent Stone? <gasps> Wait! It can't be Agent Stone, he's a sweet guy, and the fact that he usually gets bullied by his own boss, what if he actually becomes a major plot twist that he actually is intentionally evil like Dr. Robotnik, or he's just doing a favor for his boss to be proud of him, but if that was the case, that would be hilarious, but shocking at the same time, but it's all just pure speculation. Also, this one has gotta be my favorite theory, it's from Tropical Zone CR. 
The predictable thing would be Eggman chasing Tom and Maddie along with Sonic and Tails, but I would like it to be a government organization that appears in the series to chase them down. I know what you're referring to, G-U-N, aka Gun, and it makes sense since the first movie hire Robotnik, well the government hires Robotnik to track Sonic down just because they need a scientist with a 300 IQ to understand like what causes the power outage from the first movie, so it could be a big acknowledgement, but also for fan service, what if G-U-N actually is the government organization to track them down so that will be interesting and i even replied in the comments by saying hmm a reference connection to gun that could be a very good possible theory and that would be reasonable explanation of why sonic tails tom and maddie could be endangered by dr eggman the government tracking them down can you imagine robotnik or agent stone mentioning that they're working for gun all this time and they're using the robotnik designs to create advanced war machines and also give robotnik the connection with his grandfather joe robotnik i mean i won't get like too high I hopes by it, but if they definitely want to make that big connection of GUN that you see from Sonic Adventure 2, and also shout out the Hedgehog as well if you play those video games, but if it connects to Robotnik and Agent Stone that they're working for those companies all along, that will be a big mind-blowing plot twist, but also satisfying the fans for the sake of its fan service. But other than that, these are great, amazing theories that you come up, guys, from this one on-set photo, and I think all the fans I've been watching this video supporting me for making this Sonic movie sequel video in the first place. So I gotta say thank you all very much, so much for watching this video. I respect your loyalty if you watch it from the very end. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now. Bye bye then.